it's nothing special, right? It's just a forest. I've been coming here since I was 14. So it feels like this forest knows me very well. Oh, guys, what the fuck? It's so pretty. This is crazy. I'm feeling so enchanted. Like everywhere I, w I look, there's something going on. Actually, there was a car in the parking lot and it had a ticket, so it's been like parked here overnight. That's freaky. I'm worried I'm gonna find a dead body. I used to walk here at night when I was like 20. This was right before I traveled and I felt like I hadn't done anything adventurous or crazy. I speak for the trees and they said, oh, you have something like right here. Oh, dumbass, you fell for it. Okay, I need to lock it and I'm tripping over all these roots. Look at these. Giving where the crawdads sing. <laughs> Marsh girl, where are you at? <laughs> Guys, I'm so fucking paranoid. Who cares? Who cares? I feel like if the forest is where you're, you're gonna see crazy people. You would see the Lorax in the forest and you'd be like, yeah, checks out. Some orange little some orange guy actually kind of looks like Donald Trump now that we're talking about it. Guys, did they design Donald Trump after the Lorax? But Donald Trump just speaks for the oil companies. You, you expect to see like crazy people walking barefoot, talking to themselves, tweaking out in the forest, I think, right? Or like hikers. That's enough for my yapping. I'm gonna spend time with my forest. You guys just sit over here, okay? Make yourself at home. Mommy's gonna focus on the breaths, okay? Guys, I've never fucking seen a turtle here. That is crazy. That actually, I'm tearing up. You can't tell, can you tell? Dude, there's fucking turtles in here. <laughs> Guys. I really needed to see that turtle. No more yapping. Mommy wants to spend time with her tree friends. Okay, actually, I will, will yap a little bit more. I will admit this is the worst part of the trail. Ugh, why would a man be there? I just want to say, I can't fucking emphasize how good that walk was. I needed that so fucking bad. Actually, get off your phone. I don't know why you're watching this. Go outside. Go touch grass. Like, dead ass. Actually, please keep watching. Please. Please, guys. Please. Please, and then you can go touch grass. Do me a favor, watch the video, and then go touch grass. Please. Guys, mommy doesn't want to do anything. Ugh. Sorry, I the mommy the okay Maggie okay Maggie let's have an intervention the mommy thing really needs to stop it's getting out of hand but it's so fun oh I just gave myself the egg sometimes I do th I get a little too I get a little too like intrusive thought it's, Say you can't sleep, baby, I know, that's that me espresso. Move it up, down. I haven't journaled in three months. There is so much to write down, it's actually overwhelming, but I just need to start. 
Listen, so I'm reading this um, essay by Audre Lorde, and it's called The Transformation of Silence into Language in Action. I'm not even done, but I'm just like so eager to talk about it. I'm so eager to transform my silence into language and action. Watch me enlighten you, okay? So it talks about how she got cancer and she started reevaluating her life. And she said what she regretted most when she was reevaluating everything was her silences. And she wrote, of what, had, have, of what had I ever been afraid? To question or to speak as I believed could have meant pain or death, but we all hurt in so many different ways all the time. And pain will either change or end. I was going to die, if not sooner than later, whether or not I had ever spoken myself. My silences had not protected me. Your silence will not protect you. Of course I am afraid, because the transformation of silence into language and action is an act of self-revelation, and that always seems fraught with danger. Most of all, I think, we fear the visibility without which we could, we cannot truly live. Damn. Audrey Lord, you fucking bitch. I went to Blick the other day. This cost me so much. Like, these? Bro, I will never tell you how much I spent on them. But if you want to know, they're Princeton Heritage brushes. They just looked really pretty. And she started scanning them, and I saw the price, and I was like... But I was too embarrassed to be like, girl, take it off. So I have to be a professional watercolor artist now. I've already invested so much money. Actually, this is gouache. I've never used gouache. I'm excited, but I think I just need to, like, do it. Like, I, I can't focus on making it good. Do you know what I mean? Like, I have to just start. That's my thing with, like, journaling. YouTube and art is like I'm always putting so much pressure on it then I don't ever want to start it so I'm just fucking around let's light the candle guys I got all my fingers and the blade goes chop 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 and blah 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 oh chop 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 I'm picking up the speed and if I hit my finger then my hand will start to bleed I'm actually nervous to use these because that means I can't return them and I was kind of thinking of returning them Okay, I don't like that I- okay. This is so nice. Oh, guys. It's like, the fucking dumbest shit is so nice. Painting? Guys. Walking in the woods? Guys, come on. Please keep watching. But like, why are you watching this? Do you know what I mean? Like, do something? But like, <laughs> please don't go. Please. Why did I say that stupid, stupid- Guys. My brain just nutted serotonin all over the place. Since I saw you last, I went to the eye doctor. I walked to the treadmill for a bit. I stretched a little bit. I'm trying to get my splits down. Was once able to do the splits. That is actually some crazy Maggie lore. Um, when I was 11, I was in sixth grade and I was really obsessed with like, the popular girls in my school all did dance, and I was really into dance. And, like, I just felt like I had missed my calling as a dancer. I still feel like that. Like, they're so elegant, they're so poised. I'm drawn to ballet. I'm intrigued by it, right? Because they're everything I want to be, but everything I'm not. They're so graceful, so elegant, so feminine, yet so strong. It requires such a, like, a mental and physical toughness. It's like the perfect cross between art and sport. I followed these three girls on Instagram from my school and they had this account and it said like dance for, it was like dance for life or something. And I was obsessed with it. And it was these three girls, two, one pair of twins and they're like best friend. And they would post pictures of them like doing the splits in weird places. And I was like, I need to learn how to do the splits now. I love that account. I was their biggest fan in sixth grade. They stopped posting because people were making fun of them. So I commented and I was like, are you guys? done posting and they're like yeah people were making fun of us and I was like I loved this account like I went to school with these girls and I was like no please do the splits on the playground again every night I would stretch for like an hour and just try and get the splits and actually lucky for me on that dance for life account they posted a video on how to get the splits so I would watch that and do the stretches I still do the stretches and I think of them every time I do it that's the thing when you're a kid you start training for the dumbest shit I miss that I need to bring that attitude back. Okay, focus on the painting. No, I need to bring that back. Because, like, I just learned how to do, this, do the splits. And it was like my biggest dream to do that thing where like, you're on your back and then you kick up to standing. That's the kind of energy, like just training to do something totally fucking useless. Also like origami, I used to be really into knowing how to do ninja stars. 
couldn't tell you how to do it now. String tricks, that's a story for another time. I will tell you about my history with string tricks. You don't even want to fuck with me when it comes to string tricks, bitch. Anyways, like we would have to sit in attendance lines in gym class, right? So I'm sitting in my attendance line. And I was with this girl who, and she was like a cheerleader and she was super popular. And obviously she could do the splits because she was a cheerleader. And so she's talking about doing the splits for some reason. And then I go, I can do the splits. And she was like, yeah, right. And then I'm like, no, I'm serious. And then she turns to this girl, Elizabeth, who's also a dancer. And she turns to this girl, Elizabeth, who's also a dancer. And she's like, yeah, right. It was frustrating. These girls weren't believing me, right? So then I was like, fine, I'll show you. Like, I'll post a picture on Instagram. So I go home that day, and I take a picture of myself on my iPad doing the splits. And I post it on Instagram. And I say, like, some shit, like, I hate when people underestimate me, but I absolutely love it when I prove them wrong. And I spelled absolutely totally wrong. And then they ca I tagged them, too. I tagged them. That was the best thing I've ever done. That was Taylor Swift-level petty. No regrets. I would do it again. Fuck you guys. So I'm trying to get my splits again. I think I just, like, I need the motivation, right? Like, I need to have popular girls in my school that I look up to that do the splits. And, like, the urge to copy them. But right now, it's like, why would I want to do the splits? Like, it's not really a good party trick. You just have to get down on the ground. Like, imagine you're in a club and you're like, look, I can do the splits. And you just get down on the filthy club floor. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, there's no appropriate time to do the splits. I totally forgot why I was talking about that, but that's my split anecdote. Now I have to focus because I really got carried away. There was this man... Oh, uh, actually, no. No. We're not doing that anymore. I'm done. I'm done with that. Last episode in the Maggie Cinematic Universe, all that bitch did was talk about how mad she was about a man and like, uh, uh. Oh, but now I want to tell, whatever. You'll never know. You'll never know why I was thinking of a man. But seriously, that was gross. That was a moment of weakness. Oh, I forgot who I was. You know what I mean? I think since traveling, I've become so much more self-assured. I know what I bring to the table. That was kind of devastating. I'm not going to lie. Cause I, that's like a long story that I will probably never tell. Uh, maybe one day. Maybe if I get a podcast. Guys. Guys. I would be so good on a podcast. Like, you, it would never get anywhere. It would just be so many words and so little information. Like, how good podcasts are supposed to be. Anyways. Well, I forgot. I forgot what I was saying, so. What was I saying, though? Actually, now I'm kind of annoyed. Watercolor men... Oh, yeah, th I needed that to give me perspective, because I'm like, okay, why are you acting like that? Like, baby girl. <laughs> the things I have seen, the shit I have done, the people I have met, I have lived way too fucking much to give a shit about something as minuscule as that. That was crazy, Maggie. Oh, this is so fun. Okay, it's done. Let me show you. Okay, I dedicate this painting to your mom.